Hi guys, welcome to part three of the koi pond build using sleepers. So I've been using these coach bolts to secure the ends, like so. And I put two in uh, the corners, each corner. That's eight of them, obviously. And I've also been using some longer versions of these that are 250 mm in length to go through the second level to the first level. And I'll show you more of what I've done with the top level in a moment. But, so here's the coach bolts we've been putting through the wood to secure it to the bottom level to show you what we've been doing. We've been putting them in here, driving them into the wood so that we're, we've, we've secured them so they shouldn't move into the uh, sleepers themselves. That's the second level and that's how we've secured the wood to each other. Done with the deck. <coughs> is I've uh, dug down by one feet so the total depth will be approximately just under three feet in depth and I'm debating whether I should dig down another feet to make it four feet in depth so the koi fish have got more of a bottom to swim in let me know in the comments if you think I should dig down to four feet or leave it as it is because if I do that I'm going to have to try and sell the pond liner I've got that just fits this pond now as it is um, and buy a new one that's going to be bigger obviously. So we've dug down uh, by one feet into the ground and I've put some cement down here if you're wondering what this is here. This is basically a cement barrier to stop the conifer roots coming through and puncturing, puncturing the liner. So um, I think that's a good idea because what we'll do is put some soil over it some sand, so we'll put the liner on top after we put our underlay down um, and there'll be a barrier there to stop roots penetrating the liner so that's a good note if you do come across trees um, that, and you do have roots coming through it's a good idea to put a barrier down to stop roots penetrating your liner in the future um, so we're debating whether to go down to four feet at the moment or leave it as it is, let me know what you would do um, also I've encountered a problem with the sleepers. Now the first level and the second level seemed absolutely perfect and level and I, I didn't think there was an issue there. But then when I put the third level on we seem to have an issue where the the third level on these this side, these sides here, um, is about a centimetre higher than the bottom and the top and I'll show you that in a moment. Um, so that's where we're at at the moment. The debate is, do we dig down to four feet or leave it at, at three feet? 